Hey guys, Ash here from C4E Tech and Android 4.3 for the Galaxy Note 2 N7100 has now been leaked. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to flash it onto your Galaxy Note 2. So guys, uh, this works only with the N7100, it does not work with the N7105 or any other variant. In case you guys are not sure which variant you have, just quickly go into settings, scroll down about device and you'll see your variant, GT N7100. And again guys, since this is a pre-release that has been leaked from Samsung, this will not affect your binary counter, which basically means that you will not have any warranty issues by flashing this. So guys, before you proceed, make sure to back up anything you have on your Galaxy Note 2, because this will wipe your phone. You will end up losing all your apps and data, so make sure you take a backup before you proceed. So guys, the first thing you do is head on over to the download section in the description for this video. Hit link 1, that'll take you to the Samsung Keys download page, download it and install it. Link 2 will take you to the firmware. Just download it and save it onto your Windows PC or laptop. So once you've done that, go ahead, turn off your phone. And once the phone is off, hold down volume, power and home at the same time. Just keep holding it. And once you see this, hit volume up to continue. So once you're in this mode, connect your Galaxy Note 2 to the PC with a micro USB cable. Let the Galaxy Note 2 be as it is. Let's switch over to the PC now. So guys, this is the firmware file that we downloaded. So right click on it and extract. So it might ask you for a password. If it does, this is the password. I will leave it right below link 2 in the description. But if you're paranoid, you can take it from here as well. So paste it, hit OK. Just wait for it to complete. So guys, once the files are extracted, now right click on Odin, hit run as administrator. So as long as you, you have installed keys properly and the drivers are configured, this will turn blue. Uh, if it doesn't turn blue, just make sure that keys isn't running in the background. If it is, exit it. If it still doesn't turn blue, just reboot your PC, uh, uninstall keys, uh, reinstall it, reboot your PC and that'll fix it. So now I've click on AP. Navigate to wherever it is that you've uh, extracted these files. So I'm quickly going into Galaxy Note 2, Stock, Pre-Release 4.3 and select the file that we just extracted. Just make sure that Repartition under Options is unchecked and hit Start. So this will take about 5 minutes to complete. I will be back with you guys once it's done. Alright guys, once you see the blue reset displayed over here, you can disconnect your phone from the PC. So we are done with the PC part of this tutorial, let's move back to the phone. The phone will now boot back up, just wait for it to complete, give it a couple of minutes, uh, don't panic, it will boot up. Alright guys, we are up, so let me quickly run through setup. Alright guys, here we are, let's quickly go into settings, we've got the new interface. For settings, going into about device. There you see, we are currently running Android 4.3 Jelly Bean. So guys, for a whole list of what's actually changed, what are the new features, I will leave a direct link to the original thread on XDA Developers Forums, so you can check that out for the change log, see what's been changed and so on. And just in case you got stuck in a boot loop that is on the Samsung logo while booting back up, okay, just pull your battery out, okay, so that the phone is off, pop it back in, give it about 5-10 seconds, just pop the battery in, your phone will be totally off. So right now, hold the up volume, power and home keys. Let the keys go when you see Samsung Galaxy Note 2 displayed. So this will take you to Android system recovery. Use the volume keys to navigate. Select wipe, wipe data slash factory reset. Hit the power button to select. Uh, your data, it will do a factory reset once it's done. Hit reboot system uh, now and you will be back up. The, you will have no issues. The phone will boot back up. So guys, I guess this pretty much wraps up this tutorial. If, if you liked it, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and hit subscribe. If you guys ran into any other issues, if you have any queries for me, feel free to hit us up at cursedforever.com slash forums. And once again, thanks a lot for watching. Hope you found this video useful. Stay subscribed and I'll see you guys soon in the next one. Till then, this is Asher from C4E Tech signing off. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye now.